This is the front-end workflow we've been stuck with for a decade, maybe even more than a decade. A slow, fragmented factory line from a designer's mind to a developer's code. Every step is a handoff. Every handoff is a bottleneck and every bottleneck is a waste of time, money, and most importantly, creative energy. And till date, we've made tremendous advancements in this workflow. We've optimized every individual part of the chain. We have component libraries, design systems, and lightning fast frameworks, but the chain itself has remained fundamentally broken. The process of turning a visual idea into a tangible coded reality is still a clumsy translation between different worlds, different tools. But this bottleneck is about to disappear. Meet Gemini 2.5 Flash Image, AKA Nano Banana. It's replacing all of this with this. Welcome to the new workflow. So we've broken it down into three chapters. First is conversational editing. Can you change the button color? Can we make the background a little blurrier? Uh, can you send over the new brand icons? <sighs> so these simple things used to be a new ticket for the designer, but not anymore. Now the prompt is the tool. By passing both an image and a text instruction into the model, you can make precise targeted changes instantly. So let's try it. So we take a screenshot of the website and we use this prompt quickly and we wait for Google AI to do its magic. So here we have it just in seconds and you might say it doesn't even look good, but the bright side is you got to test this random idea of yours without ever going to a designer. And it barely took 15 seconds and the feedback loop was instantaneous. The ability in itself is a game changer, but we're just getting started. Okay, the next thing we're gonna move on to is asset generation. So finding the right icon or placeholder is still painful. So the old way is to dig through a library, pray it has what you need and then struggle with SVG imports. So the new way is you just describe it. Let's take IRCTC for example. Every single person in India has used it. It handles millions of bookings every day. But the interface, it looks like it's still stuck in the early 2000s. I mean, look at the icons for the trains, the flights, the hotels and buses. They're so outdated, clunky and completely off-brand, honestly. But what if we could give it a facelift with just one single prompt? Now, let's place the screenshot of the IRCTC website and give this prompt. So there you go, a full custom set on brand made in the same time it took to type out the prompt without actually going through a single asset library. All right, and with that, we move to chapter three. Now, finally, let's talk about consistency. Maintaining the look of a character or a specific visual style across multiple different mockups is tedious. Again, for this, let's go to some website where they don't usually do it tastefully. Like, let's go to Air India. I remember that AI bot still looks like a placeholder and not really an on-brand onboarding or doubt resolution. So see, you have a completely irrelevant chatbot that's just completely out of place, completely out of brand. But back in the day, even if you'd been through that old aircrafts, will you still remember that delightful Maharaja? So why not just use them for everything on the website? Okay, so this is gonna be our base image for everything and let's create like some four or five different image actions. So one to welcome, one when something is off, one when he needs to guide towards something, once when the booking is done, and one for food preferences. And there they are, a complete custom icon set, perfectly on brand this time, generated in less than two minutes. And this was all done with a prom set and our base image is attached. Now think of how hard it is to use this custom set instead of a placeholder image. And everything happened without a designer with a consistent on-brand character throughout the website. Chapter four, development. So now we have design, but how do we convert this into a real working web page? Okay, so now let's take the design that we created and add more details about the web app that we're building. Paste all of that into Gemini 2.5 Pro. Let's get this PRD and the reference code for the design. Now we're gonna take the design image, the PRD and the reference code and put them into cursor or bolt and bring the app to life. We're gonna be using bolt for this one. Now this is gonna take a couple of back and forths. You'll need to prompt your way through it and you need to have patience. Or if you don't have patience or if you need some help trying to figure this out, then please check out this video. And finally, we have a working app designed using Nano Banana and built using Bolt.new. Drop your comments on what we should do next and until then, keep building and keep experimenting.